Oh yeah, another tasty treat in the mail. CX oil cooler. I decided to paint this thing. I wasn't a really a fan of the stock metal color. To do that, picked up some uh, high temperature paint, sprayed that, and Gonna do a stencil, little brand recognition. So I gotta figure out how to attach that to some thicker paper, cut it out, make a stencil out of it. Then we'll use some of this. This is caliper paint, just uh, needed a high temperature paint. I'm gonna do that red. So when you are painting that, just keep in mind that you are adding a slight layer of insulation from that spray paint to the material of the fins on that oil cooler. So keep that in mind. Don't do the paint too thick on the fins. Um, probably doesn't matter as much around the bezel. Um, but again, on the fins, don't put too much paint on there. Keeping that in mind, I did not do the back. So that's me facing towards the motor. Not going to see it, not going to paint it. Um, what else is in the kit? So imagine where the oil filter goes on the top of the car. If you were to take off the oil filter, this would be the sandwich plate that would go on top of the oil, um, the oil cooler. So the oil cooler is that portion below the oil filter that circulates coolant and helps keep the engine oil cooler. So then you'll have this piece where the lines feed through that goes on top of that. And then oil filter up here. We're gonna have a tall stack of stuff going on. Hopefully it all fits underneath the hood. Um, they said that you could either do it with or without the factory oil cooler. So I don't know of the performance differences you're going to see as far as engine temps. Um, if someone's done that, let me know. <laughs> Tell me which is the be better way to go. So supposedly with this kit, you could do either way without um, that water or coolant cooler or using it in conjunction with the new CX system here. So yeah, actually I hadn't ever heard of uh, the CX racing. I had a viewer, Douglas, thank you, sir, for the suggestion. I'm like, heck yeah, for that price, I'll pick it up. It was only a little over $200. And the uh, Mishimoto, I think they make one, and Perrin, those are like six, seven, eight hundred dollars I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'll try out this one. Um, let's see, oh, another cool thing. I also found a small company that makes a uh, top mount intercooler uh, location brackets to fit the oil cooler. So it has um, some brackets that attach on each end. Then it has an arm that goes down on this passenger side attaches to the front mount intercooler bracket location. On this side also has a bracket. Um, I don't think it goes to the intercooler bracket actually comes out and goes down to the intake manifold, one of the bolts there. I also picked up a cheap AN wrench. So on the oil lines, you don't want to jack those up, mangle it with vice grips or something. So get one of those. The oil lines, they're not ultra premium, but it's pretty sturdy braided metal lines should get the job done so I'm still waiting for that piece to show up for the top mount intercooler brackets uh, that company is called s good they I guess they make them to order so they were only uh, what they tell me it's gonna take like two or three weeks to come in so that's kind of a bummer I guess I'll get working on that stencil and see if we can get that put on there.
I also wanted to add on those oil temperatures since I've had the tune, uh, I was seeing temperatures as high as 224 degrees Fahrenheit when we were pushing it pretty hard. Um, so hopefully this oil cooler helps bring those back down. So from what I've read, these oil coolers can bring down your temps about 20 degrees. So that'll be great. Another thing on my shoddy investigation work, <laughs> reading some reviews on Amazon, uh, some customer posted a review saying that this core size is the same as the Mishimoto. Um, hopefully that's the case. Uh, the few pictures I could see, the Mishimoto brackets look identical to those. So hopefully it is a pretty pretty close to one-to-one -one knockoff on that. Um, so that our S-Good brackets mount up the same way because they, they don't make a specific one for the CX racing. Um, they just have a Mishimoto one or a Perrin one. And um, hopefully it's close enough. It could be just right. If not, we'll modify it a little bit and uh, get that put in the top mount intercooler location. Then we'll get some use out of that big hood scoop everyone's giving me a hard time about. There we go. It was a little harder than I expected. On some of the corners, you could cut down with scissors. Scissors always seem to cut straighter for me versus using the X-Acto knife. But some of those places you can't really get to with scissors. So I was wondering what I should use to stick that on. It looks like they do make clear glue sticks. If you could find some adhesive transfer paper that might work well so we'll get this around the lettering so we can get some sharper letters without the spray paint going underneath then I measured where the exact center was on here so I put a dot with a colored sharpie so I'll line that up I also measured where the center of this is so I'll line that point with that point so the center's right there We'll get that put on. I'm gonna hold this corner. It's not staying down as well as I'd like. And spray my own hand. See what it looks like. It's been sitting here drying for about an hour. All right, so that's about a conclusion to arts and crafts today. While I'm still waiting for the S Good top mount intercooler oil cooler bracket mounting location brackets to show up. I decided to split this up into two episodes while we're waiting for those to show up. S good? S good? Saul good, man. Is that a reference to slipping Jimmy from Better Call Saul? Maybe. That'd be pretty cool. So, what do we got? Let's see how this goes. Gonna be right around there. That's gonna be awesome, man. We got the snorkel back in there. And it will feed our new oil cooler. All right. Thanks again for watching my video. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out.